Home of the 2016 BET Awards is going down today, and I'm sitting here with a very powerful man. His name is Lewis Cobb, B. How are you? I'm good. Good morning. Let's talk about this book you guys called Dirty Little Secrets. Why yes. did you name the book Dirty Little Secrets? Well, you know, information is power, mm -hmm. uh, and most people don't want to share it because right. they don't want other people to be as powerful as they are. So I wanted to do something different and share some of the things that I've been taught by several people in, in, in my career. I'm, I'm really trying to pay back a debt to so many people who helped me a, along the way. Uh, I grew up as a kid who didn't have a lot of vision and didn't have a, a, a lot of things going for me. It didn't want a lot of things. Right. And people saw something in me before I saw it in myself. So I'm trying to pay back a debt to those many people who were teachers, professors, neighbors, my parents, and coaches along the way, and em employers. So you're just trying to pay it forward. Pay it forward and pay it back. Yeah, it is. So what are some of the key lessons to dirty, dirty little success? Well, you, number one is that I think you got to have a vision for yourself. Right. You, you, you've got to see yourself uh, where you want to be before you get there. Mm -hmm. You've got to be comfortable in operating in uncomfortable spaces. Mm -hmm. it, it takes uh, being uncomfortable to grow. You, you got to come through something to be something. Mm -hmm. uh, I think also that you've got to reinvent yourself and reimagine yourself as mm -hmm. the world and business change. Right. So uh, that's just three uh, that are in the book. But there are many, many more that I think that will be helpful and inspirational to people. So who did you pretty much create this book for? I created this book for anybody who is looking for answers in their business life or in their personal life. Okay. Uh, so I cover a lot of different subjects, everything from leadership uh, to a relationship. Okay. So let me let me let me give you one of my life lessons and, and, and see if you can kind of help me maneuver through this situation. Okay. I make good money. Okay. But my you know, assets exceed my debt. So mm -hmm. it's like I get paid and I'm broke again. <laughs> but it's like, how do you overcome that? Right. Well, first of all, you want to have assets that appreciate, right. not depreciate. And then secondly, you never want to spend more <laughs> than what you're bringing in. Right. So I've had sort of a rule in, in my career is uh, I'm, save, I'm going to save a minimum of 30% of uh, whatever I bring home on a, every two week or monthly basis. Right. Uh, in doing that, and I, it, it really sort of starts a nest egg mm -hmm. that you can sort of create for yourself. Okay. Uh, and also you've got to sort of imagine what the future is going to be like when you may not want to do this again. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, and I need to know that. So with that being said, I'm, I need a DMV to be able to get, reach out to you and get in contact with you. How can I do that? Uh, follow me at, at Lewis Car TV. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that's on Twitter mm -hmm. and then also uh, you can go to lewiscarbook.com right. learn more about the book and mm -hmm. the people who are endorsing it there it is it? ladies and gentlemen media professional author speaker and philanthropist Mr. Lewis Carr right here on WPGC 95.5 um, he gave you all the social media so you can get in contact with him and I uh, thank you for stopping through thank you it's WPGC 95.5 2016 BT Awards airs at 8pm on Sunday the Black Super Bowl there it is